So now is when that door is actually supposed to open. And you can see it's actually resealed in order to... Oh, I'm hitting that. I'm just realizing that normally uh, I would have something like the, the flame spell and then I can I can AOE them and and hit them all in this little kill zone and that would be the smart thing to do. but I've I've forgotten to pack it a foolish of me. I guess this works. All right, smoking deal. This will hurt. So, this means that now they have to go even longer. So, this is a thing that I like. Ordinarily, they would come in here and then they would just go straight through here and then straight through here and end up here. But now they have to go all the way through this hallway. And then instead of going through here, they have to go through that one. Now if I had more cash, I could actually push them back even further. Uh, but the main problem is that right now I don't have anything to kill them. Um, It would probably be good to get some, you know, guardians. Oh, they're getting through. One of the problems is that, like, if you stop to, um, if you match the button, you can see that the crosshair gets huger and huger until this is shooting with the spread of a shotgun, but nowhere near the damage of a shotgun. Obviously, that's bad. By the way, another thing you may have noticed, some of the orcs actually went back into that one hallway. Uh, because they fell off earlier, they're actually coded to return to their positions, which is where these guys are coming from. So we actually went back into the hallway for some reason. And, you know, there's there's no, you know, real reason for him to do it. It's just a coding thing. A little immersion breaking, but yeah, whatever. So yeah, you can see it does a little bit of damage. So it's not really that worth it, but the main thing is that it just gives me more time to make sure that I can deal with them all at a decent pace. These guys are a bit more problematic because I need them to uh, shoot at me. Dying, by the way, I don't know if it's been discussed, but actually running out of hit points will uh, deal a penalty to your uh, gate. What are they called? Ramped. So dying too much will cause a game over, but it's actually not an instant failure condition. Death is. Um, it can be. Because when you're dead, you're not looking after the rift. You're not fighting orcs. Some of these things are, you know, depending on how you build it. Sometimes people build it and they spec everything in the trunks so they can just kick back, take time off, say whatever, you know? Let's put another choke point here. Let's put it here. 
You know, now that I'm looking at it, I actually like the other way I had it better. But you can't sell when you're actually in fights. Oh well, such is life. What? Oh, there's more. The switching thing when you hit shift is actually really annoying right now. Just because this level's so big, I have to be running way, way far. Alright, cool. Alright, they have the barricade, fellas. So yeah, again, to remind you, if I had actually just clogged every single one of these up, uh, then they would just smash through the first one, which would defeat the purpose of using the barricade to make them take more time. And again, similarly to just throwing them downstairs and then having them work their way back up. I could just stand next to the rift for more uh, juice, but... Uh, Oh, he's stuck. There's a guy who's like getting confused back here. That's how it's done. All right. Uh, hey, get a little help? Nice choice, hot shot. You won't be sorry. Yeah.